Welcome everyone to this video by Learn Civil Engineering where we will be covering the first property of cross sections that is of interest, which is area. It comes with intuition that the behaviour of a structure partially depends on the cross sectional area of its elements. For example, a cable with a diameter of 50mm will be able to resist a much greater load than a cable made from the same material but with a diameter of only 5mm. Likewise, a thin plank of wood is more likely to snap than a thicker plank. And therefore, it is important to know the cross-sectional area of an element when analysing its ability to resist a load. The concept of area is relatively simple, and one of the basic principles is that area is additive, where if you have two sections that do not intersect, you can easily calculate the total area of the sections by adding the two together. For example, the total area of this T-shaped section, A, is equal to the area of the top rectangle, A1, plus the area of the bottom rectangle, A2. So in this case, the total area of the T-shaped section is equal to 20 cm squared. It can also be useful to use the principle in reverse, where you can subtract intersecting shapes from each other to find the area of more complicated shapes. Revisiting our example, the total area of this T-shaped section, A, can also be expressed as the area of the square containing the T-shape, A1, minus the area of the lower left rectangle, a2, minus the area of the lower right rectangle, A3. So again, we get the total area of the T-shaped section is equal to 20 cm squared. The area of a region can also be calculated using integration, where the area of the region is equal to the integral of 1 with respect to the area. To introduce this concept, we will consider a right angle triangle, with a base of B and a height of H. For every value that the y-coordinate increases, from the base to the top of the triangle, the width of the triangle W is equal to B minus B over H times Y. So just to prove this is the case, imagine a triangle with a base of 3 and a height of 3 as well. At a y-coordinate value of 1.5, the width of the triangle is equal to 3 minus 3 divided by 3 times 1.5, which equals 1.5. And this is what we are expecting from intuition. So now that is confirmed, we can substitute this formula into the integral. So the area of a triangle, AT, is equal to the integral of B minus B over H times Y with respect to Y, with boundary limits of Y equals 0 and Y equals H. Carrying out the integration, we get AT is equal to BY minus B over H times Y squared over 2, from y equals 0 to y equals h. And substituting in our boundary limits, at is equal to bh minus bh over 2, which simplifies to b times h divided by 2. And we can see that this is the standard formula for the area of a triangle that we are all familiar with. As we have just seen though, the use of integrals can be quite inconvenient for finding the areas of simpler shapes, and therefore it is more common to break down a complicated shape into simpler shapes where possible and use the principles discussed at the start of the video. For this, we will need to know how to calculate the area of basic shapes, including a rectangle, triangle, and circle. It is common knowledge that the area of a rectangle is equal to the base times the height, the area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by 2, and the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. If you haven't already, I strongly recommend that you commit these to memory. Now, with these formulas, we can work out the areas of more complicated shapes, and we will now work through the following examples. For the first example, the area of the region can be calculated by considering it as a square with a semicircle added onto it. So, the area of the region can be expressed as A equals A1 plus A2. The area of the square is equal to the base times the height, which equals 400 mm squared, and then the area of the semicircle is just half the area of a circle. So, using our formula, A2 is equal to 1 half times pi times the radius squared, which equals 39.27 mm squared. So, we can conclude that the total area of the region is equal to 400 plus 39.27 which equals 439.27 mm squared. This second example uses some of the same principles from the first example. Here, the area of the region can be calculated by considering it as a square 
with a triangle added to it and a semicircle removed from it. So, the area of the region can be expressed as A equals A1 plus A2 minus A3. The area of the square is equal to the base times the height, which equals 400 millimeters squared. The area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times the base times the height, which equals 100 millimeters squared. And then the area of the semicircle is just half the area of a circle. So using our formula, A3 is equal to 1 half times pi times the radius squared, which equals 39.27 millimeters squared. So we can conclude that the total area of the region is equal to 400 plus 100 minus 39.27, which equals 460.73 millimetres squared. The third example is slightly different from the first two. The area of this region can be calculated by considering it as a quarter of a circle, minus a smaller quarter of a circle, both of which have centres here. Therefore, the area of the region can be expressed as A equals A1 minus A2. The area of A1 is equal to 1 quarter times pi times the radius squared, which equals 706.86 millimetres squared, and then doing the same for A2, A2 is equal to 314.16 millimetres squared. So we can conclude that the total area of the region is equal to 706.86 minus 314.16, which equals 392.7 millimetres squared. For the final example, the area of the region can be calculated by considering it as a quarter of a circle, with a triangle removed. Therefore, the area of the region can be expressed as A equals A1 minus A2. The area of A1 is equal to 1 quarter times pi times the radius squared, which equals 706.86 millimetres squared, and then the area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times the base times the height, which equals 450 millimetres squared. So we can conclude that the total area of the region is equal to 706.86 minus 450, which equals 256.86 millimetres squared. So to summarise what we have covered in this video, we have introduced the basic concepts for finding the area of a region, working through some examples where we have applied these concepts, and we have also seen how we can use integration to find the area of a region. This has been a video by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this video useful at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. If you do have any remaining questions, or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.